What's up guys? So I'm gonna show you how I put a Origin Advancer Wake Tower on this 1995 Sea-Doo Speedster. You can see where I put this one, like right under the O from Rotax here. I did it about, about 69 and a half inches from the tip of the bow right there, all the way down here, measured here went up right there you can see there's kind of like where it flattens out a little bit more is where I tried to put it there now on the back side I put them right here just about almost straight in line with the top of the seat and come down here and back a little bit and uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside and why I had to do it here For me, a lot of it was just where I could get to on the other side. So we'll start on this side. Look under here. And I backed it up with some uh, some wood. A little, about four inches wide, about four inches tall, and maybe about 10 inches long. Uh, I think it was like half inch plywood, nice plywood. And then I went ahead and put um, some of the 3M 5200 marine sealant on it, so it should last a long time. This was the black stuff that took about seven days to cure. In the front, I did the white stuff that cures in 24 hours. But yeah, I put that on there, suck it in real tight, and then I just went around the edges with it as well. So I put a bunch on the back of it, put a bunch around the edges, and just kind of stuck it in there and let it dry. And then on this side... I actually have one motor out because I'm working on it, so it looks empty in there. But on this side, I took out the, the oil tank that normally goes right there. The oil, oil tank would be right there. And then that's where I was able to get in there and put the other one. And you wrench that down. As you can see, it's got a bunch of that same black 5200 on it. So that ends up being right about there. And again... I, if it was up to me, I thought that I should probably, I would have thought to put it either like right here, since it's flat, but I didn't want my people in the boat hitting their head against it, so I put it a little farther out, and I also thought about putting it back here, but everyone in the photos I saw had it over here on the side, which I was actually able to get to. All right, now for the front ones. The front ones are the difficult one, because on this boat, there's really no way to get to it and so what I had to do um, some people are probably gonna hate me for this I had to go here and actually cut this hole so this is the fiberglass this is this was just side of the boat right here and I had to use a hole saw I'll show you that hole saw it was by using one of these right here it worked super well um, this is a see the label on there malco hc1 um just a hole cutting forget just type type in like malco hole cutter and basically what it is you you drill one hole first make a center hole and then you put this in the center hole and then you just basically spin and you rotate around that center point and with this cutting drill this cutting bit that's on the end it'll make a perfect hole that's how i made that that's how i made this hole right here was rotating that around and then that's how I made the same hole inside the steering column. So yeah, put some speakers there, use this hole cutter, and it worked great. This was the hole that I cut out right here, and this is what I'm gonna replace that area with right here. It's a Boss, I don't know, if I forget what the, what the actual model and model was, but it's a, it was a five and a half inch diameter is what that had to be in order to fit this. And so then this will come and I'll just pop these, the speaker right in there and uh, it should, should be cool. It looks like it's gonna fit perfectly and then I'll go and I'll wire it through the boat. Cut that hole out and then once you get in there, you have to start breaking apart the styrofoam and you basically have to, you wanna try to basically split it and then push 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 it this way and push it this way it's easier than just gouging out a bunch of it if you gouge a bunch out you're gonna make a huge mess so if you can try to cut it and split it and then pop it put something in there and try to pop it 
so that you can push some of the styrofoam forward, some of the foam backwards, and then you got this space in here. And so you can get in here and see what it looks like in here. It's a mess, just because I was doing it in the, in the dark and I could hardly reach in there. But I put the white 5200 around the edge and on the back of it. And so that's what that one looks like. It's the only way I could figure out how to actually get inside there and mount the backing plate on the other side. And then on this right side, up here, you can see it's right there. And the only way to get into this was the same thing. Open this. I stuck something in there that would hold this open. And then the same thing, I made a hole. Made a hole in there, cut a hole inside here. And then inside there, and you can see that, sorry. <laughs> is where I put the other one, same exact thing. So, make it a hole. Oh, and you have to take out whatever little, this guy right there that sits inside there. Um, took that out and then reach in there. And I will say on this side, when I went to put in this, when I went to cut this hole, this wire, it's like I bullseyed it. This wire was running straight across right here. So you can see I put a little nick in it. I'm about to repair that. I don't know if you can see that. A little, a little nick in it on both sides that I have to repair, but it should still work. But yeah, watch out for that wire. If you, if you use like a sawzall or if you use a, something that goes any deeper, it might cut straight through it. So watch for that wire. Again, this was the Origin Advancer. And comes up like this. So it fits, I didn't have to, they said you might have to cut this in order to make it fit. But I didn't have to cut it, I was able to get it full width on the Speedster 1995. All right, rack is up. Got the board tower, got the speaker set up there. So I wanted to show you what I did. In order to get the backer board and the nut on this side, I cut a hole right here. Now I placed the speaker on here. It was a five and a half inch hole. Um, there's a hole cutter. And these are the, the boss, I forget what the number are, put in the link. And I ran the wire through here, came under here, I came under here was able to reach under through here, was able to reach up, up through here. So I put it inside the steering column. You can see here, that's where I made that hole to make this other mount right here. So I went through that hole and then that's kind of where I pull my speakers. Got the extra battery and then I got my amp just sitting behind here. I actually mounted these inside these little plastic containers that came inside of a Milwaukee Packout. And same thing down here, that was a Milwaukee Packout. I just set up all my wires. At some point I'll fix them all up, but for now that's just where that's sitting. And I got my wires, they run through there. They run all the way up through here, through this little jog, up here, through here, and then into the back. So you can see these they're at just ran them through there ran them through there and all the way snaked them down through these down in through there and then into the console I also wanted to show you where I put the interface I just mounted it down here drilled a little hole through the hole back there and then you can screw in this little top and then the the wiring so you can see it's right down there it's kind of out of the way out from the splash zone rain and then the wiring I just wired it through this hole right here you can see right there just reach through there I might have taken this guy off I can't remember but somehow you get it down in there and it's a cool little interface just connect it with your phone you can do radio or you can do phone and just Bluetooth it right there and that's my sound system that I put in because I had to fill in those holes from the rack